beautiful soul families. So for tonight, I'm doing the earth signs. I'm doing Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. And so before we start the readings, I would like everybody to meditate with me for two minutes. I bought a new uh, singing bowl for all of you here. This is a rainbow singing bowl. Okay. The frequency is amazing on this. Amazing. I love it. And I do want to share it with all of you. So the meditation is before we start our readings so that we could relax, take it easy. Okay. And um, of course, I'm going to invoke my archangels, my angels, my spirit guides, the Holy Spirit. Okay. My ancestors all to be here with us when this reading is going to take place. So, um, of course, I'm going to invoke Archangel Metatron to come through with the sun grid of light, love, and uh, protection with the Holy Spirit. I'm going to invoke also Mother Gaia to be here to sustain the reading and healing and to keep us grounded. I'm going to invoke Archangel Uriel to clear my energy and space, and the same for you. I will invoke Arch Archangel Raphael to send healing energy for those that want to embrace it. You don't need to embrace it if you don't want to. Okay, but if you do want to embrace it, you say, I receive body, mind, and spirit. I'm going to invoke Archangel Michael for a breakthrough in your life and for the collective. And last but not least, I will invoke Archangel Gabriel to be here to sustain, not only to sustain, but also to elevate the frequency and the energy of the collective with intentions. All you need to do is if you're, you're able to take it, you could close your eyes if you want to. And if not, just take a deep breath in. And exhale and relax and let me take care of the rest okay so let's get started <sighs> Archangel Uriel to clear my energy and space and yours as well Archangel Raphael, to send healing energy to those that want to embrace it, body, the mind, and your soul and spirit. Archangel Michael, for a breakthrough in your life. In any situation that you're having a hard time with and for the collective. And last but not least, Archangel Gabriel to raise the frequency of the collective with light, love, peace, harmony, happiness, balance, good health, abundance in any shape, way, or form, and protection. And so it is. Doesn't that feel great? It's amazing. So I do want to say something to all of you before we start the readings. Okay, so my beautiful Taurians, Virgos, and Capricorns, whoever is watching this video, is that there's a lot of new subscribers on my channel. And I want to thank you for all, for all the new subscribers that are here. Sorry, the new subscribers that are here. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for showing up and welcome to this channel. Of course, those of you that have been with me for the beginning, halfway through, recent, a, a big thank you to all of you as well for the love and support. And of course, let's not forget my community of 27 years. Uh, for them, always, you know, being present, being there uh, for the, the love, for the support. Amazing, amazing. Uh, I want to thank all of you here on YouTube, here in my community. Uh, for letting me share my gift with all of you. I really appreciate all of you here. And um, so there is a few things I do want to mention underneath the video. There is a two, uh, two uh, crystal stores with my name on it. And you get a percentage off if you want to go check that out. My weekly schedule is changing. 
okay it's not going to be the same for you know everybody's time is going to go up uh but i'm not sure yet I, i'm doing some changes in when if it's a monday or a tuesday but it doesn't really matter because i do not uh, everything it comes in into into divine timing when it comes to my videos for those of you that want to follow me on tiktok uh, and instagram it's patricia underscore 1111 i do come on randomly but i do give free mini readings on tiktok and on instagram for those of you who want to follow me on facebook it's patricia luna and if you want to follow and join my group there's a private group that i have on facebook where everybody shares supports loves praise okay there's everything there and uh, of course i'm there too i interact with all of you there as well and um for those of you that want to write to me there's a p.o box number for those of you that want to send a donation and donations are always appreciated but if you do there is a link there and you'll see that i'm collaborated with another lady her name is laura lee jones okay she's a good friend of mine and my soul sister and um so you'll see her name but you'll see my picture with her and my name underneath it is me so it is coming to me so please do not be afraid or scared that it's a scam because it's not a scam okay and uh, last but not least if you're looking for healers out there okay healers i do recommend mark uh, most of you know him already or corinne with body talk most of you know her already and uh, they both have their website underneath my video and you can see what they're all about and then go towards them they offer a lot of things and what else do I have to say? I think that's about it. Yeah, so that's, uh, and oh yes, let's not forget my mom. So my mom wants to thank all of you here still for all the beautiful messages that are still coming in for her. Um, we've been getting a lot of emails back uh, that her prayers were answered for health, for whatever it was, anything that you had to go through, whatever it is. I have a lot of emails that are sent back saying that my mom's prayers did help a situ uh, their situa their, your situation. So I'm very happy to hear that. And uh, she says that she still is praying for you three times a day for all of you here uh, on YouTube and on the collective. And if there's any more messages you want to leave towards her, leave them in the comments below and I will relay them to her. Again, a big thank you from me, my mom, my whole family. And uh, we love you all very much. So now let's get started with your readings. I'll be right back. Hi Virgo and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from February 15th to the 21st, 2021. I hope that you're all doing well. And I want to send a big hug to all of you out there. A big embrace of love. Okay. And a huge hug to all of you here. Missed all of you. Hope that you're doing well, my beautiful Virgos. Let's get started with your affirmation. Like I was saying in other videos, when you have to do an affirmation, you have to repeat it three times for it to activate, okay? And you can repeat it as long as you wish for. So let's look at your affirmation for from the 15th to the 21st of February. Okay, is this for Virgos? Virgos, what's your affirmation this week? There we go. You got imagination, imagination, and your affirmation is I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind and I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. And so it is. Now let's look into Gaia Oracle to see what's going on here for you. I already pre-shuffled the cards, so I'm just going to shuffle them a bit more. There we go. Perfect. And let's see what's happening here for Virgos. One. Two. Three, four. You got four. <laughs> oh, wait. There we go. Let's look at what's going on here. Okay. So, first card you got is the winter's end. The winter's end. And this talks about a rebirth. Okay. A regeneration. And a positive outcome. Now, a winter's end, it's a rebirth of a situation of yourself. But it also talks about, for others of you that want to know about this, is that, let's say there was a friendship, 
a friend or and it could be a friendship, could be anything in your life, okay? A situation in your life that completely ended, maybe unexpectedly or, uh, you know, uh, you, you probably left someone or someone left you or uh, with uh, unresolved feelings, unresolved everything. There could be something new, the same person coming to you more ref or, uh, in a different way or someone new coming in in the regeneration or this could also be you. What's here is apprehension. You also got apprehension where uh, you are, you're dealing with a lot of doubt and fear at this time. And a lot of you are going through the dark night of the soul or the dark night of your ego. And you're going through a lot of the process here, okay, about moving out into the world. What you should be carrying often is an amethyst with you, okay, amethyst. And this talks about transformation that's taking place, a rebirth. Okay, S certainty and having confidence in yourself is being restored while you're going through all these processes. And last but not least, you've got Enchanted Forest. And this talks about mystery and magical, magical blessings and excitement taking place. This could happen with the full moon that we have. I know we have a new moon, but we also have a few moon, a, a full moon, I think, in the, if it's not the 11th, 13, 14. I think on the 27th of February, we have a full moon or something like that. But there is a full moon coming in for you. And that's when it's going to take place in the new moon energy. You will be, um, of course, wanting to plan, uh, to plan for the future step by step. But also at the same time, you are releasing, surrendering. There's a lot of things going on here. Rebirth, regeneration of a situation. Moving out into the world. Whatever it is, what it means for you. Okay? Releasing the doubt and the fear. And beautiful transformation. And having confidence in yourself. That's amazing. So now let's look into your reading. Virgo. This reading is for Virgo Sun. And anywhere that you have Virgo in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time. If it resonates, claim it 100%. If it doesn't, Look at your rising, which is your ascendant sign, because sometimes you could be more towards that. Look at your moon, which is your emotions. Look at your uh, Venus, which is about love and finance. Mercury is about creativity and communication. And uh, also look at your north node. For those of you that want to release anything karmic, look at your north node energy. Now, I'm going to tell you where you are now, what is crossing you, what spirit wants you to focus, focus on, your recent past. What is crowning you? Your immediate future. What is hidden from you in a possible future? I will then clarify the cards here in which way Spirit wants me to clarify. At the end of that, I will give you two crystal cards. I will give you two sacred geometry cards, two star seed oracle cards, and two archangel micro cards. Plus, I will give you one, uh, last but not least, one light oracle card. And then I will read you a passage from the book. If you do stay with me till the end, I thank you very much. So here, let's get started with your reading. I think that the cards are ready. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, well, I'll do it after. Okay, so let's put the cards down first. This is for Virgo. Virgo. Take my lavender spray, spray some, some for you, some for me. Perfect. Now, uh, what I do have right away as a message, a message for some of you, some of you will be changing resonance in the end of this year of 2021. I also see in the overall energy with the 
Queen of Pentacles reverse, something that was in the Six of Swords reverse, what they're showing me here in your overall energy, something that was not successful in the past in or in the overall energy, uh, someone that's unstable at this time, maybe it's you, uh, Virgo, or something around you, or a job, or something like that, uh, not being stable, maybe financially in a situation. We'll see what this is all about, okay? Where you are now is the High Priestess reversed. Yes, yeah, something will be revealed to you 100% here. But some of you are not following your intuition. And you have a lot of wisdom, Virgo. You have a lot of wisdom here. And uh, what's taking place is this is the Queen of Cups energy, okay? There could be someone here, uh, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It doesn't have to be someone very nurturing, very loving energy, uh, also very psychic energy. This could also be you uh, coming into your intuition more. But I know, Virgos, your intuition is usually right on target. But there is a situation here that there's something that the spirit is uh, what they're trying to focus on, making you focus on with the Eight of Pentacles reverse. Some you removed energy from a situation, okay? Whatever that you did in the past, whatever that was on that was not successful in a situation, whether it was work, love, whatever the situation. If I'm talking to you, vice versa, whatever, whoever this is, something was removed here because someone did not follow their intuition in a particular matter. In the recent past, you got the uh, Wheel of Fortune reversed, okay? So there was a delay in the situation that something had to be destined. It was fated to come towards you. Even luck, it could be money or some, whatever it is for you. It could be love, money, whatever it is, okay? What is crowning you is the Emperor reversed. Aries energy, this could be Aries, yes, okay? Uh, it's about surrendering. It's about uh, not having control and surrendering and let the universe do what it has to do for you. Or this is a part where some of you were let go of a dream. This is what I'm hearing. In the near future, you got temperance, Sagittarius energy. It's about having patience. It's about moderating something in your life. Oh, not only in your life, but your body, your mind, and spirit have to be in one. Some of you are looking for divine intervention in this situation here. And what is supporting you is La Justitia, which is the justice card. Libra energy here. This talks about bringing something into balance in your life. It's about the truth and nothing but the truth. Standing in your integrity. This could be about rulings made in your favor if you're going into court in a situation here. Or it just means that everybody that's involved in the situation will be treated fairly by the universe. What's being hidden from you is the magician energy. So it's about having all the elements here, okay? You have all the elements here to have everything that you want to, any wish that you want. In the hopes and fears, you have the five of cups reversed. Okay, so uh, this is about seeing this a situation for what it really was. It's about really reevaluating, but resent like letting go of the resentment, the hurt, seeing the silver lining, knowing that everything happened for a reason. And it's about also looking at the experience, saying like, what did this like? Whatever this experience is, what is it that this experience or this situation that I went through? What is it that it? What what did it teach me? And you got it because there is some type of closure that's taking place here. And the outcome is the Nine of Pentacles being independent. Okay, very independent here. And uh, I do see you working on your uh, money and also see you working on yourself. So now we're going to start. Re we're going to take the cards out here and I'm going to cl start clarifying for you. One. Two. Three. Cut the cards in three. Okay. Let's look at the high priestess reversed. For Virgo. You got the hermit reversed. The Emperor, the Page of Cups. There's a lot of inner inner healing that took place for you. A lot here. A lot of you are coming out. Some of you are coming out of the dark night of the soul or the dark night of the ego since your birthday of 2020. Okay, uh, and uh, because at that time, I guess you're coming out of it. 
you're might feeling like not sure about your feelings or your intuition at this time okay whatever this place is is whatever that took place here in your when you went through the start night of the soul or the ego you healed you healed okay uh, your inner child it was something that was healed around there and there's a new emotional experience taking place maybe within aries in your life okay it's about setting new rules new boundaries having everything under control there could be control here in a situation as well i do see that as well or this could be about planning in the uh, planning in your near future of what you want to do okay with the emperor energy like you know business now let's look at the, the regina de copa which is um, the Queen of Cups energy. That's what is crossing you at this time. You got the King of Pentacles reversed. So I do have the King and Queen of Pentacles reversed, okay? So unstable. This is being unstable in a situation, whether it's money or love, whatever it is. With the Ace of Wands reversed and the Two of Swords. Okay, so there's a situation here, okay? Feeling unstable, not feeling passionate in a situation, okay, in, in an area of your life, not feeling that any longer. With the Two of Swords, it's like your heart chakra needs to be open and you need to remove the veil in front of your eyes, okay, because there is some type of stagnancy in a situation and not seeing something. Because there is a Queen of Cups energy here for you, whether this is you or vice versa, okay, and that's watching, watching you. I feel someone's watching you, Virgo, but not in a bad way. Maybe you do have someone around you that's very controlling as well. Okay, very controlling energy here. Let's look at this Eight of Pentacles, what's reversed in what Spirit wants you to focus on. Eight of Pentacles reversed. I'm sorry, and my family's all in the living room right now, and I'm like right close to the living room, so... If you do hear a lot of people, I cannot stop that from happening. <laughs> you know, you got the Five of Cups energy, the Six of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. Okay, so the clearly shows me that there's something that most of you hear, whether it's you or uh, vice versa. Someone put stopped putting energy in a situation where they uh, they they walked away, or someone walked away from them with this Five of Cups energy. Where there's a lot of hurt, there's a lot of resentment in a situation. It's about purging, releasing. It's about seeing the silver lining of a situation and really trusting the intuition part, right? Because it had to do with your gut feeling. Uh, it's about understanding why this happened to you. What was the what what was this trying to what whatever this experience? What was it trying to teach you here? It's about seeing the silver lining that something here was not successful, whether it's in a business in a home, in a project, in love, whatever it was. But what Spirit is saying is that you're going to get the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords talks about where you're going to be, you're going to be clarified. Everything that you're, that you're not able to see now, you're going to get clarification on it, okay? It's about seeing the truth. It's about removing the fog. It's about a lot of communication and a lot of like communication, but I'm talking about like straightforward and clear and um, the truth. That's it. You're going to see the truth. Now, let's look at the uh, Wheel of Fortune reversed in the recent past. You've got the Ten of Cups reversed. So I see here a relationship or a family situation that uh, went through a, a, some type of unstableness. Something here could be a relationship that some type of... It was, it was supposed to be here, but it's it was not in divine timing in the situation. Or there's something here that took place here. A dismay is what I'm hearing. A yeah, okay. Yeah, and and, and uh, so whatever the situation was, whether this was a relationship or the Ten of Cups reversed with the Ace of Pentacles reversed, with the Wheel of Fortune reversed, something that did not come in in the way that it should have, okay? Um, maybe a relationship that is going through a lot of emotional, like, up and downs, but there's not even stability in the past. Uh, you're not feeling stuck about the situation any longer, okay? There's not, no more feeling stuck or in your head about it. What I do see is something is coming in divine timing for you. You're seeing the signs and something like, again, it could be a new emotional experience that's taking place with the, the, the relationship you have already. Or for others of you, this is, could be also a new relationship coming in, okay? It all depends where you are. But 
This is about seeing the signs. Divine timing is here and feeling passionate and coming forward with the Knight of Cups, wanting to share your emotion, wanting to share love and to romance here. Now, let's look at the Emperor reversed. If you're dealing with an Aries energy here, there is a, some type of surrendering and someone letting go of control. Whoever you're dealing with, if this is someone you're dealing with, they went through hell. Okay? Or maybe this is you. Who knows? The 10 becomes a 1. This is about really carrying a lot on your shoulders for a very, very long time. It's been very difficult. It wasn't easy. But the 10 becomes a 1 here. Now, let's look at the 10 of Wands with the Emperor reversed. You got the world reversed, followed by the three, the five of wands reversed, followed again by the high priestess reversed judgment. Yeah, there was some type of judgment or will be, this is what took place. And there is a new beginning taking place here as well. So it's about like someone here, whether it's you or vice versa, okay, surrendering, not trying to have control. It's about the ending of something that's been very difficult where there was a lot of fighting, a lot of drama in a situation where it's dissolving. Okay, again, something is going to be revealed, but again, someone not following their intuition. And yeah, there was some type of judgment that took place, okay, or will take place here. But something is unfinished, the world, unfinished here, unfinished business, and there will be a new beginning. Someone is not following their intuition. Okay. Let's look at temperance. You've got the three of swords. Healing is needed. Virgo. The ace of cups. That's good. I, I like that card, the ace of cups. And what else here? With the three of swords and temperance. One more card. Two more cards, okay. Three of cups. This is definitely some, there's someone here from the past, okay, for some of you, because I do see some type of closure. It could also be a closure of someone wanting to forgive someone else, an apology. It could also be a reconciliation. It all depends, okay, where there was healing. There was a, there was uh, someone, a broken heart here, someone that was heartbroken. Yes. It had to do with someone from the past here. And I do feel for someone there is a returning, but it could just be a closure. It all depends. Patience is needed to heal that heart chakra, which you will get there with the Ace of Cups. This could be a new beginning for you. And or someone it could be someone coming in, a new person coming in, or an old a person that you were already with or are in, okay, in a relationship or a situation. Where there's a lot of healing and divine intervention is taking place here. This is the Nine of Cups energy where it talks about where there's dreams coming true. Fulfillment of dreams. Now let's look at La Justitia, which is the justice card and what's supporting you right now. You got the star card reversed. The chariot reversed. The Queen of Wands reversed. And the Queen of Pentacles again reversed twice. So someone that's unstable here, whether it's you or them, someone that can't that someone that's angry, someone that's not in their element, not being stable in a situation. Okay, the star card losing faith or hope in a situation, thinking that it will never happen for them. Cancerian energy here. As well, not taking, not moving forward, not taking control of the situation moving forward. But what I do see is that there is justice coming in for you. This could also take place for some of you. This will not be for all of you. Well, maybe some, some of this is happening for some of you, for others of you, because we're all in different soul paths here. This could also take place in October and November of 2021. Okay, the truth and nothing but the truth. Let's look at the magician and what is being hidden from you. What is this magician about? The Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Coins reversed. There's codependency here when it comes to money with somebody or finances. And someone that's not working on themselves.
Yeah, definitely here. Okay, someone here is not is working on something. They're working on their energy. They're working on something where they want to elevate and they're using the law of attraction to get what they want here. But with the King of Cups reversed also, okay, what I see here is someone is not stable in their emotions. They're not able to give yet. They're not emotionally available as well. And there is, a, maybe they're withholding information with the Seven of Swords and not being honest about how they really feel here. Now, let's look at the Five of Cups reversed in the Hopes and Fears. Why is the Five of Cups reversed? We've got the Two of, the two of Pentacles reversed. The Moon card. And the Nine of Pentacles. There's a lot of fear here in the situation. Whether there was some type of closure that would take place. Someone got dropped or something got dropped here and something got grounded. So like someone chose one thing. Okay. And with the moon in Neptune energy in Pisces, this talks about distortion, illusions, not seeing something clearly because someone's not trusting their intuition here, whether it's you or them, whatever. Someone's not trusting their intuition. And it's about being in difficult moments. And it's about like going through a passage that you cannot see, but you're not going within to follow that path. You're not listening. So, I mean, so there's someone here that's not listening to their intuition. And the Knight of Pentacles is reversed, not moving forward, not making plans. This is what I'm seeing. Now, let's look at the Nine of Pentacles. <clears throat> I got the Four of Wands reversed in the possible outcome. So there is unstableness in a home here. Not too many happy times in a home either. And there's no proposal. I see some of you are still going to remain single. If you are the single, if you are single, you are going to remain single for a bit, for a bit more of time. Um, for some of you, for others of you, there's no proposal taking place in the situation. It's as if you're waiting, hesitancy to take. It's like you walked away from something completely. <clears throat> you walked away. Okay, and there's an overcoming of this. But at the same time, you're working on yourself. You're very independent. <clears throat> but there's no proposal in this home or an event. There's something here that's unhappy home for some of you. I don't know who it is. There's a sense of waiting. Someone's waiting for something here. Something to happen. There will be an unexpected message coming in with the night. Of source, so you will be receiving an unexpected message, very truthful message, where there will be a second chance here for you. The wheel of fortune, maybe they're gonna come towards you or you towards them. This about destiny, something that's faded, okay? Um, because in the past it was there too, but someone didn't listen to their intuition. This is about destiny, something that's faded, and luck. Jupiter is bringing this towards you. <clears throat> so now <clears throat> let's look at the Queen of Pentacles reversed. You've got the Magician reversed, the Lovers. And what else here for Virgo? And the Four of Pentacles reversed. So yeah, there is someone that's unstable, maybe financially, but also stable in how they're feeling. They're not really manifesting anything at this time. Okay, they're not really, really doing much at this time. And with the lovers, you could be dealing with a lover, a friend. Okay, it could be anybody here. But there is a choice to be made. But I do see that there's no more holding back in the situation. No more holding back. And underneath the deck, you have the sun card, which is beautiful. This is a blessing, a revolution, revelation abundance in any shape or form this could be a soulmate a twin flame this is about you returning to good health this is about success victory positive vibes all the beautiful things so this is shining upon you okay virgo they want you to be happy so i hope you enjoyed your reading and now let's look at oops your crystals what are your crystals virgo see the crystals you got you got smoky quartz let it go and labradorite see the magic so smoky quartz let it go and labradorite see the magic 
these are the two crystals that you could use for this week and for as long as you need them now we're going to look at your sacred geometry just gonna Virgo. One. Two. Hmm. So you got shapeshifter, inner knowledge and ancient wisdom. High priestess. Take a picture of this. Take a screenshot if you can. And try to meditate with this and ask your spirit guides or the universe to show you what it is that you need to know. And the next one you got is protection. Safeguard yourself. So I would like you also to take this picture here. Take a screenshot of this. And if you have tracing paper, okay, trace both of the cards. And uh, this here, you put it, I think there's a message here. You got number 44. So this is the angels coming in. I'm going to read you the passage fast, fast. Because I, I think you need to place it somewhere. I don't, I'm just going to make sure if you don't need to place it somewhere where. Okay, the book is not here. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> okay, let me just fast, fast, take number 44. So I think there's an affirmation that comes with this. So I want to, for you to have it as well. Okay. So your affirmation is, this is your affirmation. Repeat it three times. I am protected from negative energy and ill arm. I am protected from negative energy and ill arm, and I'm protected from negative energy and ill arm, and so it is. When the when this card shows up, okay, when the protection card shows up or shows itself, it is a reminder of the importance to safeguard yourself against unwanted energies in your life right now. It may also be a gentle reminder of the significance of protecting your energy on an everyday basis. There are many people around us whose vibration is lower than our own. Consciously or subconsciously, these people have built in radar, radars and seek you out. They are attracted to your frequency and want to have what you possess. They are like vampires and can drain your energy very quickly, not realizing what they are doing. Then there are those people who seek out healing and can't manage their own energy, so they seek out yours. Be mindful of how you feel and listen to your intuition. Now, over here, <clears throat> this is this pentagram is in this card is a magic symbol. It has been used to protect against evil and shield the user's own or when worn, guard the user against negativity. This pentagram pertains to either or spirit and the double circle on the outer in cases and protects all within. The protection card is an excellent gridding template and will work well with Raven Magic card six to create a more powerful grid. So the practical application of this card is there are many ways in which you to protect yourself, but the best way is through intention and placing etheric grids around your physical and our, our and your aura fields. Carrying crystals that are specific for protection is fabulous, as is creating grids in your home or office with intentions. The card is numerology is a nine. So what you need for this is trace this card, right? And they want me to make you look at this other card. And I know which one it is. I just have to see. Six, number six. Yeah, this one here. So you will have to take another screenshot of another card. Just give me a second. I have to find it here for you. This is important. If not, I would not you know be doing this in this in this specific manner but it's important for you virgos like i said i do have your back okay so take a take a picture of this take a screenshot of this card as well i give you the time to do it you need to trace this and trace this card as well okay both cards need to be traced take a screenshot okay <clears throat> And the crystals that you will need. So you can put them in your, in your, where you work, where you sleep, anywhere that you feel that you need that protection. Okay. You need black kyanite, like what I'm wearing, black kyanite, black tourmaline, labradorite, or bronzite. Again, jet, I forgot to say that one, jet, black kyanite, black tourmaline, 
labradorite or bronzite for that card okay so i hope that helped <clears throat> now let's look at uh your star seed oracle I want two cards for this. This card wants to come out. Okay. So you got not two cards. You got We the Haters, Hate Hers. I'm not saying hate hers. Hate H A T H O R S. Deep love. Mother's milk. Birth. <coughs> birth as a portal. Look how beautiful this card is. This is for you, Virgo. And then you got Loosen Your Grip. Coping mechan Mechanism, Density, Addiction, and Let God In. Now we'll look at Archangel Michael. Got two cards as well self-respect dear god and angels thank you for helping me see myself as you see me through the eyes of love thank you for honoring and respecting me please guide me to do the same for myself and grant me the courage to speak up on my own behalf i ask for your protection in all of my relationships so that i am surrounded by loving and kind people and the next one is make a commitment and Archangel Michael, as an angel of courage and confidence, I call upon you to lend me your strength. Allow me to commit to myself, my life, and my divine purpose. Please clearly guide me so I can fully open my heart to every experience. And now we're going to take a card from the White Light Oracle for Virgo from February 15th to the 21st. Okay, you got two of them, or is it three? Two, okay, two. I will read you this, the passage. <clears throat> okay, so the first card you got is number three, Obo Dwa, Obo Deer, Obo Deer, Obo Deer. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but Obo Dyer, Obo Dyer, Obo Deer. You'll see the card in a second. Okay, so this is your card. Look how beautiful this card is. And your, ma your message is, do not turn away from your path, nor from what you know in your heart to be true. No matter what appears, what appears to be, nor what logic may dictate, trust what your heart is telling you. You are safe and protected by spirit. You are spiritually empowered with all you need to manifest your authentic soul path. You have what it takes to connect with the light and live that connection in practical ways which contribute positive energy to our human collective. It's uh, it's This word is the Latin basis for the word obedience. And the original meaning was to listen. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your heart. Next one you got is Beta of the Spirit World, number 23. Beta of the Spirit Wolf. Give yourself enough rest. Only then will you, you will be able to ground yourself enough to cultivate focus and motivation to fulfill your path. You will find a way through any tricky situation as you tune into your instincts and trust your own timing. From times of change and uncertainty comes confidence, love, and resilience. Embrace the transition. Commit to your tasks and stay focused, but be flexible in your approach. You have the skill to intuitively handle any issue. So this is your cards. I hope you enjoyed your reading, my beautiful Virgos. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Know that I have your back and that I love you. All this shall pass. And I'll see you next week. Please take care. Bye.